Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon if you're on the East Coast, or good evening if you're somewhere east of that. This is Jean-Pierre Le Bourbeau. Welcome to the Sand Cry for Freedom call. I feel like we're at um, kind of a, a, a good number. You know, we've done 20 so far, and I, I can't believe it's been four weeks that we've been doing these, but we've been doing them since the beginning of February, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm the senior coach over here at the Super Affiliate Network. I'm the VP of Sales. I'm a multiple six-figure earner. I've been online since uh, July of 2015, and I scaled up really quickly. I was in a previous program. Uh, Misha was my coach. Misha Wilson was my coach for that system, and I scaled to multiple six figures really fast, just within a few months. And I've just been scaling up ever since then and teaching you guys what I've been doing and what Misha has done to get to this point. So every single day, uh, well, Monday through Friday at noon Eastern time, that's negative five GMT for all you international folks. Uh, if you want to get the, the value and the training and the tips and the tricks that we are bringing to you every day for you know anywhere from a 10 to a 30 minute call with different speakers, um, that are in different uh, places in the market and have different experience levels, but all beasts of marketers, then make sure you go to the San uh, Facebook page, uh, the fan page, the Super Affiliate Network fan page, and you hit like, and you make sure that you turn on all notifications, and you make sure that when you turn on those notifications, I'm just uh, multitasking, I'm jumping over here to my Zoom screen, um, when you turn on notifications, you scroll down and you click that button that says see first. Make sure that you see our posts first because you want to make sure that you get on these lives every day. You want to make sure that you're seeing our posts every day because they're always going to be full of value. Let me move this down just a little bit. There, that's better. So they're always going to be full of value, full of training, full of mindset hacks, things that will make you more productive. And I think I'm going to bring some good stuff to you today, and that's for you to decide. I never know if it's good until I get feedback, right? So I want to go ahead and say hi to everybody on here. Our schedule is a little bit different than it normally is. Normally, Katie Meyer, up in the top left-hand corner, is speaking on Fridays, but unfortunately, one of our speakers, Karen Richardson, has been out ill. Karen, get well soon. And Katie filled in on uh, Tuesday. So, yeah, so now I'm, I'm doing Fridays. <laughs> or I'm doing Friday this week, anyway. So we got Katie on here. We got Carla. Carla, so happy that we could see your face today. Carla usually calls in. We got David. We got Francois. We got Ken. We got Jen Jackson. We got Amber. We got Roberto. And we got Daryl who we can usually see on camera, but Daryl's probably driving, so he doesn't want to give us that, um, that down below shot. And I'm going to go ahead and jump over to our Facebook page. And we got five people on the live already, so awesome, awesome. I'll just go ahead and get rolling. So, water first. Everybody, um, also I don't, I never know how to check. I can almost never see unless someone comments on the Facebook page or on the, um, on the live. So, of course, we have Katie in here, our cheerleader. We got Renee in here. We got you guys dropping the, uh, the hearts and the likes, and I appreciate all of that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, cool. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is and Water first. mute the Facebook live. Today is Friday, and um, my my whole coaching thing, it's really a 24-7 game. I make sure I take as much of Sunday off as I possibly can at all times. Uh, Misha harped on me about that for months and months and months, and he said, man, you're going to burn out. You're going to burn out. You got to make sure you take a day for yourself, and sure enough, I burned out, <laughs> and, and then I was uh, I was drained for a while because I was working seven days a week. I had my calendar wide open. I was coaching like 18 hours a day, just on calls nonstop because you know that's what I felt like it took to really grow this thing fast and I was putting a lot of the weight on my shoulders. So it's not about me coaching, but what this is about, what I wanna talk about today is making sure that you take some time to unplug for yourself. By Friday, I'm usually pretty drained. I know Misha's drained, I know Jason is, I know Charlie is, like our whole team, I know you guys probably are. And that happens, uh, you know, because 
you know, I take that day off on Sunday and then it's just nonstop, nonstop Monday through Friday, Saturday. I still work uh, about half the day, but at this time, I mean, Friday today, it just happens to be an overcast day, which is I'm from Vegas. So we don't get those too often. And it's actually really nice weather outside. It's like 65, 70 degrees. And today is like one of those days where I want to go hiking. I want to go and chill out and you know, I can't, I got to work. And that's fine because I really love what I do. And you have to make sure that, that when you're injecting yourself into, into the community, into what it is that you're doing, that you're, you're really finding your niche. Like, yeah, we're all affiliate marketers and we're all internet marketers and we're all doing this thing with SAN and, you know, using it as a stepping stone to eventually create our own products and, and just move up that, that echelon and get better and better at what we do. But like finding your niche, like Katie, cheerleader and she is really really good at that and she is carving herself out a niche in that already and each and every one of you like I know I know Jen has her thing like the the mom stay-at-home mom thing and uh, Amber I have a feeling it's something gonna do with snakes uh, <laughs> Daryl is this tech guru and uh, he may not think of himself that way but he really is and like all of you guys are, are slowly like carving out your niche in this marketplace and you got to love what you do because if you don't love what you do then it's like going to be this compounding effect every single week after week after week and just unplugging for one day is not going to do it you're just going to keep doing this thing in the marketplace trying to focus on something that you're not good at that you're not passionate about and it's gonna suck the life out of you and you're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate your life just as much as you hate your job right now. So you really, you really gotta unplug and, uh, and make sure that you're doing something that you love. Um, that, I mean, that was, that was it. You know, I always have these ideas in my head and feel like I can talk about them for so long, but like I, I say the idea once and if I feel like I said it properly, then it's like, it's out of there. But. Um, there is something else that's been on my mind, um, some stuff that I've been studying and it, it kind of brought back, uh, memories from the days of when I used to have sales jobs and I've been in sales since I was 12 years old. So, um, Hey, if you guys are getting any kind of value out of this, please like comment, share, uh, make sure you share this, uh, Facebook live because that's the thing, especially that helps us grow more than anything. But really giving us your feedback and giving me your feedback and let me know if you're getting some value that lets me know my dog's licking my leg right now. <laughs> that lets me know if I'm, if I'm talking about the right kind of stuff that's resonating with you guys. So I want to be real, but I want to make sure I'm real on, on the level with you guys where you're getting a lot of value from it. So let me know. Um, so back in the day from all these sales jobs I had, I, I noticed one thing is this is like a very acute subject um, and it's something that you guys can apply. I, I had my first sales job when I was 12 years old working at the Stratosphere and uh, illegal. I, I don't think I could have gotten a work permit that young, but I'm, I'm doing all my face-to-face -face sales and like I'm stopping people as they walk by and like trying to nab them and just, uh, and just start pitching them on the product and warm them up. And you know, I didn't know much about sales back then, but I always loved it. And throughout all of the years, all of my sales jobs, it's just, it, I could never crack through this, this closing, like 25 to 35% of people. It's just because I'm chasing after them and I'm trying to get their attention. And I'm, I'm not really coming from this place of, uh, like relationship. They don't know me. I don't have any authority with them. Um, you know, whatever I may be the expert in, whatever I'm trying to teach them about, like, I don't have their, their interest peaks, you know, they don't have any desire, they don't have any interest in, I'm trying to enforce them to listen to me and get them up that scale of, you know, interest. So, you know, all these years I'm going through these sales and I just, I can't crack through the 25, 35%. I'm trying face-to-face -face stuff, I'm trying door-to-door -door stuff, I'm trying, um, I'm trying like being in the office on the phone and it's always this 25, 35%. So... Hey, we got some people jumping on here. Awesome, awesome. All right, now my girlfriend. We got uh, we got Billy on here. We got lots of people jumping on. Awesome to have you guys on here. We got uh, nine viewers so far. Awesome. 
Uh, so, I mean, I just want to fast forward to not take too much time on it, but the thing that that really helped me break through is I'm I'm sitting in this office one day and I'm like 21 years old, so it's it's almost a decade of me just doing sales jobs. I had other jobs, but it was sales consistently that whole time. And I have this manager come over and I I had asked him and it just had never been a thought that crossed my mind. I'm like, hey, can you? Um, can you jump on the phone, like, and, and talk to this guy and like, and he's like, yeah, just go ahead and set it up and let him know that you're going to like transfer him over to me. So I say, okay. And I say, you know, like you have a lot of great questions and you know, I'm straightforward. I either have the answer or I don't have the answer. And what I really want to do, and he's pretty busy, but the, the manager in my office, he's been here a long time. He knows this product front, back, inside, outside, upside down, right side up. And it would be really great if I got him on the phone, if I can nab him, because um, he's he's on calls constantly, and I want to let him answer questions. So I went into more detail with that, and I edified him a little bit more. And now you guys know about this edification thing, and you know about the authoritative buildup, and the different means uh, or mediums of marketing to people, like you have email marketing. So someone subscribes to your lead capture page, right? And then you start chasing them down, sending them emails every day. So that's like bottom of the barrel authoritative, like still kind of authoritative, they're on your list, right? And then the next one up, in my opinion, is like blogging. And we're talking about the three means that we teach you guys right now. So then you have blogging. So someone opts into your lead capture page and you're sending them emails and they're actually clicking this link and they're going over to your blog and they're staying there and they're reading through the information that you have. So they're actually reaching out and looking for your information. And then they can search you out. You know, they type in your website address if they know who you are, or, you know, as things progress and you get more and more authoritative. And then you have webinars, right? So you're actually getting someone to schedule time out of their day. And they're showing up and they're blocking out this chunk of time to give you their attention and saying like, yes, just give me the information that you have and it's like this wide open door, let me be sold, right? So this is what I started doing. This is what I discovered. And uh, it, it made me think about this and like go and start looking into my past a little bit about the lesson I've learned because of what I've been studying in this one specific spot. And it doesn't matter who's teaching it. It just it matters the topic, right? So it's something that uh, Misha had covered a bit um, when he was talking to us. I don't know if it was inside the boot camp or if it was just something that we started discussing with a few of our higher end students, uh, like at Maui or something like that, which you should definitely get to if you're not a pro member already. And if you're not pro, then I said that backwards, you know what I mean. But definitely the higher end stuff is where it's at. Because sitting with me or sitting with Dan or sitting with Misha and being able to get this experiential knowledge is really what's going to take your business to the next level. So I'm sitting there and Ryan is the name of my manager who's a really good friend of mine now and I'm edifying him and you know I, I do it in such a way uh, that it it gets this person I actually like started writing down this script that I took from somewhere else and putting it into my own words and it really edifies this person and it lets the person that you're on the phone with know that you know that person does not have much time and you're not trying to pitch this person right now you're you're making them look up to this other person that they don't have a chance to speak to yet. And once you get them on the phone, you know, we call it TO back then, like a turnover. Or, you know, just getting someone that has more authority than you on the phone. I just realized that I'm still in, um, in that Hollywood Squares type view. I'm just going to switch over to this. So, um, once I did that, and I started doing that consistently with every person I had on the hook, it immediately increased my closing percentage, it, like it doubled it. So I went from 25, 35% to 50 to 70%. And once I got better and better over the years of doing that, it like it climbed and it climbed and it climbed. And if I had a qualified person on the line, which I had to qualify them to get them over to that person, and if they didn't qualify, then, you know, I'll do what I can to help you out, but you know, speaking to them is not right. And it just so happened that if they got qualified, that person magically had a slot open and I could TO that over to them or that person over to them. And then they would close it up you know, more times than not. So it was about 75, 85% over the years. 
So what I want you guys to do is I want you to use this in in what you're doing. So you can find a buddy, a pal. Like, I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but you can find a friend, someone that has uh, a similar experience uh, level as you. <laughs> the dog's doing some funny stuff right now. He's moving my light. So <clears throat> you guys can find... Hold still, hold still, buddy. He is a big dog, he's like 70 pounds, golden retriever, and he finds a way to crawl underneath my desk, which doesn't have a lot of room, and just force himself into small places like a cat does. So, <clears throat> what I want you guys to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is find somebody that has a similar experience level as you do, but someone that still pushes you, someone that's hungry to grow just like you do, and be each other's assistant. So, every time that person gets sales, you're going to go ahead and call that person's sales for them and go through this script. And I'm actually going to type this thing up and I'm going to post it inside the groups for everyone to use. And I'll make sure I have that done later on today. I have it written down because I was taking notes and writing it down by hand. I feel like that helps me commit it more to memory than just typing something up. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm old fashioned. So you find someone that is making sales that you have uh, an experience level similar to and you get them to call your sales and you know back and forth and you go through this script and you're edifying each other and they don't know that so you're edifying each other and you're making that person seem really busy and um, and seem like you know you're the assistant to them and it really works to build up the authority really fast so you're not chasing after this person. And once you get that person on the phone, then you know you as the authority, you're answering questions, seeing if you can help them. And I'm talking about the front end sales, right? So like the 37, the 47, or if you're selling like IMPF right now for the contest, doing that, even if they upgrade to annual, you're doing the exact same thing throughout this entire process. And I'm willing to bet that you're going to double your sales and double the conversions and, um, What's that word? The, the duplicability of like people actually doing what you're doing and and like continuing the whole process up. So if you guys are getting a lot of value out of this, which you should be, um, go ahead, like, comment, share, give me some feedback, give me some comments, let me know what you're thinking. I appreciate all the shares. I see that uh, four of you have shared this so far. Appreciate that tremendously. And it seems like the hearts and comments are just flying through here. Katie. Well, not hearts and comments, um, hearts and thumbs up. Appreciate that. Katie, our cheerleader. <laughs> it's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, cool. Well, guys, that's that's basically it. So, nice, nice, David. Very good. Yeah, so, guys, uh, that's that's basically it. You know me, I'm just I'm straight to the point. I try to bring it anytime I can and give you some value that you can go and implement right away. So, you know, take the weekends, figure out who it is that you can team up with and like have a teammate to help you do this. So you guys are working together and I'm going to give you this script. It's a very short script. It shouldn't take more than like a minute to two minutes, including feedback to go over on the phone with whoever that other person is. And if you're a little bit higher level uh, person, you know, have somebody else. Yeah, you sure do can. Um, have, have like hire it out. You know, you can get that done for dirt cheap. Like you can go on Fiverr or you can go on Upwork.com and you can hire someone from the Philippines or like the Middle East somewhere that, you know, you can test them out, make sure they speak good English and, uh, you know, have them be your assistant. And you, know, you can do that if you're making, you know, like four or $5,000 a month because that investment of maybe a hundred dollars or $200 a week for this person to call all of your sales is invaluable. Like it's really going to create a lot of duplication. And I know that you'll get a ton of value out of this and uh, your business will increase and you'll see that duplicability is going up of people on your team actually going out and doing work if you give them that kind of attention and that kind of help at the very beginning and you position yourself as the authority. So I hope you guys got a ton of value out of this. I'm going to go ahead and jump off. Katie, Amber, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, Katie, telling everyone to pop in and drop a comment. I appreciate that a lot. All right, guys.
Well, I'm going to go ahead and end things off, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm just going to like unmute everybody on here and just um, like say what's up for one minute before I do that. So everybody, whether you want to or not, I'm unmuting you. Just say, hey, what's up? Give me uh, like a yes or a no. Did you guys get value out of this morning's no. call? Did you like it? Yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. I'm glad, I'm glad. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this live video. And you know me, I'm going to stick around for a few minutes and say what's up to you guys. So let me go ahead and end this off. And you guys, everybody watching on the Facebook Live, just remember that Monday through Friday, so we'll be back on Monday morning. We'll be here at 12 p.m. Eastern Time in the United States, negative 5 GMT every single day of the working week, Monday through Friday. And make sure you like, comment, and share. And make sure you go and like and follow and turn on see first and all notifications inside the fan page to make sure that you're getting these every single day. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great one.